Hey everyone, today is a very quick tutorial on how to install GNOME Boxes, which is a virtual machine manager. GNOME Boxes can be installed from the Software Center, you can install it from Ubuntu as a dev, or from Flathub. So I have Flatpak installed and I got it from Flathub. So whichever way you want to get it, you can get it from. And let me open up GNOME Boxes. Uh, I already have some virtual machines here, so I have Bodhi 2 installations of Bodhi Linux. I've got Ubuntu 22.04, Tiny Core, and Ultra Ultramarine Linux. But you're not going to have anything, so you're just going to click plus. And I tend to not download from this. I just don't see the point. I'm used to the old-fashioned get an, using an ISO file. You can download an operating system. It doesn't have that many operating systems in here. It has a lot, but it's not everything. There's it would be a very long list if it was everything. It only has like NetBSD, OpenSUSE for example, Ubuntu, NixOS, uh, Haiku, Alt Education, Alt Server, Debian. It doesn't have um, a lot of stuff. It has a lot, but it doesn't have a lot. If you know what I mean. If you do choose the downloading option, uh, the process of creating a virtual machine is pretty much the exact same way, except for the fact that obviously you download it from GNOME boxes instead of just going in a web browser. Uh, we can do an ISO. Mm, I'll do Tiny Core. This program, GNOME Boxes, it has barely any settings. So if you're the kind of person who wants to have a lot of settings, you should not use this, and you should use Vert Manager or VirtualBox. But I chose this because it's a flat pack. It comes as a flat pack, and it's in VAR, a uh, lib flat pack app, and literally uh, the entire app is here. So I can literally just delete this folder, and it would be completely gone. All the virtual machines, everything that has to do with this app would be gone, and that's what I like about it. I do not want to have a bunch of files all around my operating system, so that's why I just prefer to have this. So template, um, it doesn't know what this is, I don't think. What did I do? Tiny core, tiny core. Yeah, there's no tiny core in here, so we're just going to do unknown OS, but if you have, if it knows your OS, choose the OS, because it'll be better like that. And you can change the memory from the start, so I can... I'm tiny core is so small I can give it like 0 0.1 probably storage limit we'll do 0 0.5 for this let's see if that works I'm just curious and we can create and it simply just boots up right now we can just click enter to boot that here we have tiny core and when you have any virtual machine you can do control alt to ungrab your cursor and click this back button here and it's still running, so you, it runs in the background as long as you have your preferences. So when you right-click on this and then click Preferences, you can also get to this menu by clicking on here and then clicking Preferences. So uh, you can change the amount of CPUs. I definitely don't need eight, so I'm going to do one. Um, allow running in background. So the allow running in background is what allows it to run in the background. You can edit the uh, libvert configuration on this. So just uh, no. I don't care about this operating system, and you can edit this just this edit this file here if you needed to. You can change the name, so I'm just going to do test tiny core devices and shares. Uh, doesn't the, the flatback version by the way does not support USB redirection? Uh, shared folders, you can share folders with the guest, which is the virtual machine, um, and you can remove the ISO file. And you can take snapshots, so you just take a snapshot of the current operating system. You can either force shut it down from here, so just force shut down like that, or what you can do is you can actually shut down in the operating system. In this case, it's exit and then shut down. There, it's it's disappears. And yeah, so now to delete this, you can just delete and the entire thing is gone. Now, once you click that X, it's deleted. You cannot undo that. And in this video, I'm using Boxes version 42. So that's pretty much it. It's a very simple virtual machine manager. And I suggest you use it if you want the Flatpak version that doesn't have any files all around your operating system. Or if you just don't care about settings and you just want a virtual machine manager, then I suggest using this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.